Kathy Hochul finishing her trip overseas in Israel. But even from afar, she is responding to a crisis back here at home, not far away up in Jefferson County, a massive water main break in Watertown. A state of emergency issued more than 32,000 gallons of drinking water and 11 water tankers are being dispatched and the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services, the Department of Health and the DEC all directed to work with officials there in Watertown. Our North Country reporter Isabella Colello tells us what happened. The city called Watertown is running out of water. A major line connecting the water treatment facility to supply reservoirs breaking, cutting off clean public water. The two lines out here in front of the filtration plant are the lines that carry it up to the reservoirs. So if we can't get water up to the reservoirs, they serve over 95% of the population in, in Watertown. The reservoirs are, are drawn down and, and so we run out of water. Crews rushing to find the break underground. An emergency boil water notice issued, store shelves emptied, schools closed, and the hospital forced to limit care. It's a water emergency, but not only in the city. It's not just the city of Watertown that's lost water, surrounding communities that we supply water to, uh, town of Watertown, town of Pamelia, at Fort Drum. Uh, Fort Drum has a, a resiliency, redundancy, uh, so they're on their well water right now. Probably 30, 40,000 people, 50,000 people. The city is working with the state to set up a 24-7 emergency distribution site because even when the break is found, the water won't come back on immediately. So once that fix is done, we then have to add water back to that system. You're talking about millions and millions of gallons of water and that could take 24 to 36 hours, I'm told. And you want to do it in a slow process so you don't overburden and cause more breaks. And we're suspecting and probably there will be more breaks. Although crews are working as quickly as possible, like officials say, it's going to be days before this problem is solved and running water gets back to normal. So people in the area need to be stocking up on as much clean bottled water as possible. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello. New D.